Hi guys, I'm back and I'm happy that you are back as well here on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see. The lovely Judy from Judinka's Nail Art has invited me to join another collaboration. It's back to school collab and I was very happy for the invitation. Thank you so much, Judy, for inviting me, for thinking about me and for organizing this. As usual, I will tell you who participated and I will show you all the pictures of all the wonderful designs that the other ladies created. And then we will have a look what I did. We are having Judy, of course, herself from Judinka Nail Art. We have Karen from It's Me Karen 9. Ashley from Fire Angel 120, we have Ellie from Ellie's blog and we have Nashi Tutorials. All those ladies are very, very lovely YouTubers, talented nail artists. I have worked with them before, with every one of them. And I would say we have become friends and it's really wonderful to work with them again. We will first now have a look at the wonderful pictures of the other ladies, of course, all their channels are linked below. Go check out their video, show them some love, give them a comment, give them a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to their channels because they create wonderful nail art. Let's now have a look at all the other pictures. <laughs> And I'm back again, cute, adorable, back to school, manicures, all of them. I will show you now what I did. If you watched my previous video, you might have seen the Disney collaboration where I used do-it-yourself water decals. And I told you I would tell you in another video how I did them. This is this video now. <laughs> I will explain a little what I did. The most important thing, if you want to do water decals yourself, you need to have water decal paper. And I checked on Amazon. They have several vendors that offer decal paper. So I checked for one that can be used with a laser printer because we have a laser printer. You can also use it with an inkjet printer, but then you have to do an additional step. I will show you in a minute. What I bought is A4 papers and this is called decal paper for black and white and color laser printers. You can again also use it with inkjet printers. You print this whatever you want. You can use photos from yourself. You can use all kinds of pictures that you have. You size them according to your nails. The only thing you have to be aware, you have to have good quality big pictures because when you shrink them and they have been small from the beginning, they will not be that good in quality. This is what my husband told me. He was the one that printed all my stickers that I wanted on the paper. So first we tried it on a regular sheet of paper and you can see he printed out different sized stickers for me. Here, up here, we have all the Aristo cats, and in between I had some back to school designs and he printed them in different sizes so that I can use them on my different nail shapes and nail sizes. And then you can just cut out what you want. The other possibility you have is you can only print one line of stickers. If you just want to do one design and you don't know what else you want to do at some point, you just print one line, you cut it off, and then the next time you print the next line on your paper. In this way, you don't waste your paper, of course. These five sheets of paper cost me 11 euro 90, so roughly about 12 dollar 50. Five large sheets of paper and you can see here in the middle is even some part missing. You can see how much you can fit on here. You know all how expensive the water decals are. I really think that's a good bargain. After you have printed everything, you cut out 
what you want to use and you can see I have cut them already out here. This is my paper where I cut out all the different decals that I used. The Aristocats remaining now I will use probably in later manicures. You can also use these stickers for other things than your nails. You can use them on folders, on cookbooks, on whatever, on planners. They will stick to that. I mentioned earlier if you do not have a laser printer you have to be aware of one additional step you need to do. With a laser printer you print them you cut out the decals you want to use. You put them in water for 10 to 20 seconds. This ones take about 20 seconds. Then they come off easily and you slide them on your nail. When you have an inkjet printer, when you print it, take your paper, you leave it and let it sit for a moment so that the ink is really dry on your paper. Then you have to put a top coat over the decal before you put it in the water. This is the additional step you have to to do with an inkjet printer. It also says that on the description you have to put on top coat and then put it in the water. Otherwise if you have an inkjet the colors might run. You will see it today again when I do here my back to school and I have my little school bus and I have here my little paint and brush. I have my little back to school chalkboard can you see that? Back to school it says. I even have a little school here. So all these things you can choose and you can print and then you can use them as homemade water decals. And that's it. You just need to have the correct paper. I will check Amazon UK and Amazon US for these papers and I will link them in the description box below. These papers are available with white background and with transparent background. I have the transparent background. The difference is when you use these stickers, good example here is Duchesse from the Aristocats. With the transparent paper, this background here, her fur, which is white, will take the color of your base color because it's transparent and this is not white paint that is printed. You have to have a white background to make her fur appear white. Okay? Do you know what I mean? I hope so. I hope I make myself clear. Also, with transparent foils, I've already said it in my Disney video, the base color if it's very dark, might shine through because this is all transparent. If you have a white foil, then the background of the foil is white. So you have her fur in white, but you would have to really cut out her very precise so that you don't see it when you have small stickers. It doesn't matter if you have full nail stickers like that, which you would put on the full nail, then it doesn't matter. I hope this was clear. Let me know if you have any further questions to that in the comments below. What I have done today, again, as I have transparent decals, I used these pastel models own scented polishes to create a background that looks a little like doodling. <laughs> I created that by putting up the base color, in this case this is the green, and then I use the dry brush stroke technique. Everybody knows that in case you don't. This is where you just use your brush. You take off all the color until it's really dry, until your brush is dry and you don't have any color essentially on your brush anymore. And then you go over it here and this gives you these brush strokes that look like doodling. <laughs> this is what I did. And I have a different color, base color for each nail. I will now show you again how I use these water decals. I will start with my large nail. Afterwards, I will put them on my nails here. I will start out now as usual. I will speed up the video. So sit back, relax and enjoy and I'll meet you afterwards with the finished design. See you in a minute.
and I'm back. You could see I had no issues with the little decals. The only thing you have to be a little careful is when you put them on your nail, you have to immediately dab them with your finger. You have to be careful, they are very fragile. And then you have to remove all the wrinkles or bubbles that you get underneath. And then when you put on top coat, it will also flatten out a little more. So if you have some small wrinkles, it's not a big issue, but you have to avoid getting bigger wrinkles by patting it with your finger first. Also, what I did not know, you live and learn, when you use your top coat, you have to use the same method as you have when you do stamping. You have to float the top coat over the design. Otherwise, if they are as small as mine, and you can see what happened here, they are very fragile and might also break if you go too hard on it with the bristles of your brush of the top coat. So floating the same as you do with the stamping. What do you think of the design? I think these DUI decals are very nice to use. You can use them for all kinds of designs for every occasion and you can print your own. I think it's really a nice thing. It's easy to do and you are good to go. That was it for the back to school collaboration. Thank you again to Judy from Judinka Nail Art for organizing this, for getting us together. Thank you, Judy. Thank you to all the other participants. It was fun working with you again, ladies. Please don't forget to check out all the other channels. They are in the description box below. That was it also for me. If you have any further questions or comments, please put them in the comments below. I answer to everything and I'm always happy when I read your comments. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, up here is usually a link or down in the description box. It's of course free. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a wonderful time wherever you are and I hope to see you in my next one. Ta-da!